The immune system recognizes foreign bodies and responds with the production of immune cells and proteins. There are two major kinds of defense, innate immunity and acquired immunity. Innate immunity provides fast and nonspecific responses to pathogens. Innate immunity for insects include barrier defense, which involves exoskeleton made of chitin, and lysozyme that digests microbial cell walls. Hemocytes circulate within hemolymph and carry out phagocytosis, the ingestion and digestion of foreign substances, including bacteria. Hemocytes also secrete antimicrobial peptides that disrupt the plasma membranes of bacteria. Fruit flies use toll receptors to recognize different infections. Insects and most invertebrates don't have inflammation response and natural killer cells. For vertebrates, barrier defenses include epithelial tissues of our skin, mucus that traps microbes, body fluids such as saliva, mucus, and tears that are hostile to microbes, and the low pH in our digestive system. Vertebrates have several different phagocytic cells, including neutrophils, eosinophils, macrophages, and dendritic cells. Groups of pathogens are recognized by toll-like receptors. There are two main types of leukocytes or white blood cells. Granular leukocytes include neutrophils, which are principal phagocytic cells in the blood that are especially good at seeking out and ingesting bacteria. Eosinophils are also phagocytic. They are also involved in detoxification, allergic reactions, and parasitic infestations. Basophils play a role in allergic reactions. By secreting histamine, a substance that dilates blood vessels and makes capillaries more permeable, basophils also secrete heparin, an anticoagulant that helps prevent blood from clotting inappropriately within blood vessels. A granular leukocytes include lymphocytes such as T cells and B cells that are involved in adaptive immunity, monocyte, which is the largest type of leukocyte that will later develop into macrophages. Antimicrobial peptides can attack microbes directly. Interferon proteins provide innate defense against viruses and help activate macrophages. The complement system consists of 30 proteins that causes lysis of invading cells and also participate in inflammation. During inflammation, mast cells release histamine and macrophages secrete cytokines. Both histamine and cytokines lead to vasodilation, making capillaries more permeable so that antimicrobial peptides and phagocytic neutrophils can enter to kill the bacteria. Pus refers to fluid rich in white blood cells, stem microbes, and cell debris. Fever refers to systemic inflammatory response triggered by pyrogens released by macrophages and toxins from pathogens. Septic shock refers to a life-threatening condition caused by overwhelming inflammatory response. Lastly, natural killer cells are cytotoxic cells that target cancer cells and cells that have been infected by viruses. Natural killer cells secrete perforins that forms pores within cells and granzymes that initiate apoptosis of the cells. Adaptive immunity, also known as acquired immunity, involves slow specific response to pathogens. There are two types of adaptive immunity. Humoral response use antibodies to defend against infection in body fluids, whereas cell-mediated response use cytotoxic lymphocytes to defend against infection in body cells. B cells refers to lymphocytes that mature in bone marrow. The humoral response involves B cells and helper T cells. B cells are lymphocytes that mature in bone marrow. B cell receptors bind specific intact antigens, which are any foreign molecules to which a lymphocyte responds to. A single B cell has about 100,000 identical antigen receptors that recognize the same specific type of molecule. B cells give rise to plasma cells, which secrete proteins called antibodies or immunoglobulins, which provide immunity against extracellular pathogens such as bacteria. B cells also give rise to long-lived memory B cells that target the same antigen and can facilitate a faster and more efficient response during the second exposure to the pathogen. The helper T cells help mediate both the humoral response and the cell-mediated response. The helper T cells bind to antigen fragments presented on a host cell. These antigen fragments are bound to cell surface proteins called the MHC molecules, which stands for Major Histocompatibility Complex. In infected cells, MHC molecules bind and transport antigen fragments to the cell surface a process known as antigen presentation. When the helper T cells bind to antigen fragments, 
more helper T cells are activated. Activated helper T cells secrete cytokines and interleukins that in turn activate both B cells and cytotoxic T cells, contributing to both humoral and cell-mediated responses. Helper T cells also give rise to memory helper T cells, once again allowing a faster immune response during second exposure to pathogen. The surface protein on helper T cells are known as CD4, which binds to the class II MHC molecule, which are found on specialized antigen-presenting cells. On the other hand, cytotoxic T cells have surface protein known as CD8, which binds to class I MHC molecule that are present in nearly every nucleated cells. The cytotoxic T cell receptor binds the antigen fragments on the MHC molecule, which activate the cytotoxic T cells into effector cells. Activated cytotoxic T cells secrete perforins and granzymes, providing immunity against virus and cancer. Activated cytotoxic T cells also give rise to memory cytotoxic T cells with the same antigen receptors. Antigen presenting cells that have MHC2 molecules include dendritic cells, macrophages, and activated B cells. A T cell receptor consists of one alpha chain and one beta chain linked by a disulfide bridge. The tips of the chain form a variable region that can recognize a specific epitope, which is also known as antigenic determinant, on an antigen. The rest is a constant region. B cell receptors and immunoglobulins consist of two identical heavy chains and two identical light chains linked by several disulfide bridges. With antigen binding fragment or FAB on the tip and crystallizable fragment on the heavy chain only, there are two mechanisms in which pathogen escape our immune system. Antigenic variation involves changes in epitope expression, so that the lymphocyte no longer recognizes particular pathogens. Both trypanosoma, which causes sleeping sickness, and influenza use antigenic variation to evade our immune system. Latency refers to virus in dormant state, which is found in type 1 and type 2 herpes simplex virus. HIV or human immunodeficiency virus uses both antigenic variation and virus latency to evade our immune system. There are five main types of immunoglobulins. IgM is the first antibody made by B cells, which participate in primary response against pathogens. IgG is the most abundant protein in the blood serum. It is initiated by memory B cells during secondary response against pathogens. IgG is the only class that crosses placenta, contributing to the passive immunity on fetus. IgAs are found in our body fluid, such as tears, saliva, and milk, which play a role in passive immunity. IgE participate in allergic response by interacting with mast cells and basal fills that produce histamine for vasodilation. IgD functions as the antigen receptor in the clonal selection of B cells. Mechanisms of IgM and IgG include neutralization, or the blockage of pathogens to prevent infection, agglutination, in which antibodies clump the microbes so that the microbes are more easily recognized by other immune cells. Activation of the complement system promotes cell lysis. IgM is more effective in activating complement system than IgG. In addition, IgG can also facilitate opsonization, which enhances phagocytosis by marking an antigen. And finally, the activation of cell-mediated immune response. Allergies are exaggerated hypersensitive responses to antigens. Anaphylactic shock refers to a severe allergic reaction that can be deadly if not treated. Natural active immunity involves the production of antibodies. Artificial active immunity develops from vaccination, which is the injection of non-pathogenic form of a microbe or part of a microbe which trigger a specific immunological memory. Passive immunity provides immediate short-term protection. Natural passive immunity involves IgG, which crosses the placenta from mother to fetus, and IgA, which passes from the mother to infant in breast milk. Artificial passive immunity involves artificially injecting antibodies to a non-immune person. HIV infects helper T cells by binding specifically to CD4, therefore inhibiting both humoral and cell-mediated immune response, which leads to AIDS or acquired immune deficiency syndrome. 
An autoimmune disease is a condition in which your immune system mistakenly attacks your own body. Systemic lupus erythematosus, or SLE, damages joints, skin, kidneys, heart, lungs, and other parts of the body. Rheumatoid arthritis leads to the damage and painful inflammation of cartilage and bone of joints. In type 1 diabetes, cytotoxic T cells target insulin producing beta cells, leading to a decreased insulin production. During multiple sclerosis, T cells infiltrate central nervous system, destroying myelin sheath and leading to muscle paralysis. Myasthenia gravis results from antibodies blocking or destroying nicotinic acetylcholine receptors at the neuromuscular junction, leading to varying degrees of skeletal muscle weakness.